Mewis delivers, looking for a flick. It's tapped in. Gotham pull one back. McCall's her bony with the goal. It's her second goal this season. The assist to Mewis and a lifeline for Gotham. And what a delivery from Chrissy Mewis. Uses her left foot in swinging just over the heads of the Houston Dash defenders. And enough traffic there from Gotham that Jane Campbell can't come out and intervene on the initial ball. And it's Magal Zerboni who puts it over the line for Gotham. It was a great performance by the Courage. Caroline at it again. Cuts it back this time. And a beautiful goal. Caroline with the assist, Bazin with the finish. Why not? Goal number four for North Carolina. The fans are up on their feet applauding. It's Caroline has been absolutely brilliant and wonderful to see Bazin get on the score. She look at the smile, the happiness. Come off, off the bench, Riley Bazin. I mean, she's, in, she's the one starting the run here and finding Caroline and she keeps going, but Caroline has just been immense second half with her skills, her awareness. This time she does find a teammate and that teammate scores. Well, that's the first NWSL goal for Riley Baisden. Coming in as a sub here for North Carolina. So we've had a, a lot of cool storylines for the Courage. Again, Baisden with that first finish. Swiped. Right back in the area for Korniak. Can't get a clean header. Ali still disrupting. Korniak. Morgan rips a shot. 50 goals for Alex Morgan in her NWSL career, and we're level. And again, it's more players in the box, just like on the goal for Houston, now for San Diego, making sure to keep the play alive. And this one falls to Alex Morgan's left foot. You don't want that if you're the Houston Dash. But this ball gets played in. Korniak, the first one, continuing to seek it out. Ali, Korniak again. And look, it falls right here. Just not able to clear it, but that is a great finish from Alex Morgan and well-deserved from this effort from their offensive unit. Gets for Kawasumi. Good fake to get some space. Kawasumi crosses. Header goes home. Christy Mewis brings this back within one in the 75th. how big that goal from Ali Watt was. Look at this from Kawasumi, this deception. Gets Hansen to turn, looks up and clips this in for Mewis. She puts it into a dangerous area and then Mewis just goes and finds it. It's a great finish from the midfielder. Back and forth with Mackenzie Doniak. For Jakobsen in the area. Has a chance, Jakobsen, her first NWSL goal, and that's the insurance that San Diego needed. And finally, the timing is right on those runs. The direct balls that have been going in, there's been so many offside calls, but that one, Jakobsen, timed so well to be able to get between the back line. been a long time coming for Sophia Jakobsen. They've been kind of trying to get her going over the course of this season. And finally it happens, like you said, a lovely ball from Doniak. And here she comes. And it's right between the two center backs, not in, in Prysock. Prysock not able to communicate quickly enough there or come across herself. Jakobsen just taking it in the 1v1. For the time. Lamata steps up and scores 1-1. One, one. Uh -oh. <laughs> mm. 
Well, Freya Coom knew that they had to slow down Lola Bonta if they want to get a result tonight. Well, that's not the way to do it. Giving away a penalty and then letting her step up and just slide this one by Herchic. Herchic no doubt knew that Lola Bonta went to her own left the other day against Kayleen Sheridan. This time, she just closes it up down and slides that one into the far post. O'Sullivan gets turned around. Ordonez cuts it back. Ordonez scores a brace. Ten goals for Deanna Ordonez in her rookie season. This is unreal. They're standing to applaud, and so they should. And listen, they are beaten. Not much she can do about that. The celebrations begin for Ordonez, but fantastic second goal we talked about how good the first one was with the head but this one with the feet shows you the skill she has and the ability just to play her in and that's the, the new signing Fuka Nagano with the assist there so she scored one she's assisted has a Japanese player and Odonia is back on her right foot tucks it in the corner absolutely brilliant the coach is delighted Sanchez, so good on these services. Through the air, it's up. Telford punches it out. Still in the area, dangerous territory. Salmon cuts it back. Ebony Salmon, a monster shot. And Houston takes the lead. I mean, is this real life? I mean, she cannot stop scoring. It's unbelievable just the opportunities that she takes advantage of, just able to find the back of the net and off the first opportunity for Houston. So, Ordonez had a brace today and moves to 10 goals, the rookie. And Salmon says, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna match that here. So <laughs> exactly. eight goals now for Salmon, incredible run. He's been, again, one of the hottest players in the NWSL right now. Look at that. All the way from top to bottom in this 2022 season. Watt. Speeds past Freeman. What? Scores it, her Orlando debut. First goal of the season for Allie Watt on either of her sides. And could have just put this match out of reach. And not only do you want that if you're Orlando Pride in this game to make it 2-0 as Gotham FC was pushing forward, but to have a player that you just brought in in her Orlando Pride debut finish, that just could be so amazing for her future and for the rest of this playoff push from the Orlando Pride if she can get going with her finishing. And I love how she goes 1v1 here, just takes on Freeman, but it's the finish for me, just so composed, gets a little bit of separation, goes right to the back post, and it's just textbook from Watt. Houston has outscored opponents now 11 to 4. Vigiano into the corner! Just picked it out from outside the area! It's her first goal of this regular season. Houston doubles its advantage just minutes after the first. 2 0 dash. And we talked about how it would be important for those outside backs to get high, for Houston to change the point of attack. Jacobs here finds Schmidt in the middle midfield. She changes it out to the other side. Vigiano takes an aggressive touch forward. She waits, she waits, she waits. She looks for someone to come to her. No one comes. She tees it up herself. What a sensational goal. A fantastic finish. She couldn't have put it anywhere else, or else it would have been a save from Betos. What a goal from Houston Dash.